style of play is beautiful. The way a volcanic eruption can be beautiful. John McEnroe, the former American professional tennis player, paid tribute to the 22-time Grand Slam champion Rafael Nadal by saying that he has never seen anyone like him before. Rafael Nadal had to withdraw from Wimbledon 2022 because of an abdominal injury before playing his semi-final with Novak Djokovic. Later in the final, Novak Djokovic won the match and lifted the trophy. McEnroe provided some fascinating insights into the differences between Nadal and Djokovic while speaking about their differences at Wimbledon. He thinks that Djokovic sometimes gets booed and is not as popular as his rivals. John McEnroe thinks that Djokovic deserves much more respect than he is given. We're here with another video. In this video, you'll get to know what John McEnroe thinks about the tennis legend Rafael Nadal and why does he think that there is no one else like him. In this video, you'll also find out how John McEnroe has looked back at the story of Rafael Nadal. Stay with me till the end of this video to find out a lot more about this video. John McEnroe about Rafael Nadal The tennis legend John McEnroe has paid tribute to the Spaniard by saying that he has great battling qualities and is a role model for younger players. Nadal, who won the Australian Open and French Open earlier this year to add to his incredible tally of Grand Slam singles titles, had to withdraw from his Wimbledon semi-final against Nick Kyrgios due to an injury. Despite Nadal's disappointment at seeing his great rival, Novak Djokovic moved to within one major title of his tally after securing his seventh title at the All England Club, McEnroe spoke glowingly about the qualities that make him so special. John McEnroe told Tennis 365, I have never seen anyone like him, talking about Rafael Nadal. Until I saw Rafael Nadal, I thought Jimmy Connors tried hard, and that is by far his most valuable quality. He also said that Rafael Nadal is an unbelievable player, and everyone knows that. He can go on the court and give that type of effort like a match in and match out. Game in and game out is the quality that people aspire to, but it is very difficult to do so. He added that it is easy to do this, then everyone would be able to do so. He said, You just go to Nick Kyrgios and say, go out and give it your all, and you'll be number two, number three in the world. If it was that simple, I'm sure he'd do it. But you know, it isn't for him. Differences between Rafael Nadal and Novak Djokovic John McEnroe spoke about the differences between Rafael Nadal and Novak Djokovic at Wimbledon and provided some fascinating insights into their personalities and personalities. He said that both of them have totally opposite approaches. John McEnroe told BBC, Djokovic expresses openly his desire to have the most Grand Slam singles titles, whereas Nadal acts as if nothing matters to him other than going out and giving it his all every point in match. If you look at the history and how many Grand Slams they've won, it appears to have worked pretty well for both of them. So do whatever makes you happy and brings out the best in you. John McEnroe said that it might be difficult for the opponents of Rafael Nadal to hear him saying that he does not feel his foot. To him, Rafael Nadal looked pretty good at the French Open. Then he underwent some procedure, which name he does not know, what it is called. But whatever the procedure was or whatever the procedure is, it seemed pretty good to him because after that, Rafael Nadal had no pain, which was pretty unbelievable. John McEnroe looks back at the story of Rafael Nadal. John McEnroe has paid tribute to the 22-time Grand Slam champion, and he looked back at the story of Rafael Nadal and how he became a legend. He started the story by saying, The year is 1994, and the place is a small town on the island of Mallorca in Spain. An eight-year-old boy hits a series of two-handed forehands. When his coach was looking at him from the side of the court, and suddenly, he had a thought, a mind-astonishing thought. He said to the boy, Rafa, Try to play your forehand with your left arm only. On which the boy said, Really? I'm right-handed, so the coach said, Yes, do it and trust me. And this is where the journey begins. This right-handed boy started playing with his left hand. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the greatest left-handed player, Rafael Nadal, is actually right-handed. And with his left hand, he's just won 22 Grand Slams. It is an example of the uncompromised and cruel approach of the coach, Uncle Tony developed when he saw potential in his four years old nephew. Later in 2005, at the age of 19, Rafael Nadal won the Roland Garros and this was the time when everyone knew that Nadal excels at doing things in difficult and different ways. Then fast forward to 2009 when he played the greatest match in the history of Wimbledon and won 9-7 in the fifth. That was the day when Rafael Nadal shone the most. 
He continued the story by saying that Raphael does not have the balletic grace like Roger Federer, but he thinks that the way he plays is beautiful, just like a volcanic eruption can be beautiful. After this, John McEnroe talked about the battleship that Rafael Nadal shows. He said that Rafael is a nightmare to play against. The time he takes between points has sent many opponents into a cold rage. John McEnroe ended the story by saying, Most importantly, this raging Spanish bull is just the greatest fighter of all time. It is tough, and then there is Rafa tough. John McEnroe about Djokovic the top seed and the defending champion Novak Djokovic defeated a typically feisty Nick Kyrgios in the final of the Wimbledon 2022 by 4-6, 6-3, 6-4, 7-6 to win his seventh Wimbledon title and 21st Grand Slam title. Djokovic simply had too much for Kyrgios when it really mattered in an explosive, heated and tense battle. And after a very challenging year so far, the Serb was able to add another Wimbledon title to his collection moving one behind Roger Federer. In doing so, he also closed the gap to his other great rival, Rafael Nadal, to one Grand Slam singles title. But you know, Novak Djokovic is not as popular as his rivals and is not given that much protocol and respect by the people. Let's jump to our last topic of the video. John McEnroe talked about the popularity of Novak Djokovic and Daniel Medvedev and that they are not given enough appreciation and respect like other tennis players. He, speaking of Medvedev, did not deserve to be booed, and neither did Djokovic at the French Open. They were booing him when he came out during the game. McEnroe revealed this in an interview with GQ to promote the new documentary McEnroe. Djokovic, you may not like him as much as Nadal or Federer, but for God's sake, he's a credit to our game. John McEnroe also thinks that Daniel Medvedev has not recovered from the loss he was born at the Australian Open final. He is still emotionally disturbed. The reason for which is not because he lost the final, but because of the crowd. Then, John McEnroe also gave his own example of how a crowd can impact the mental health of a player. I was unique. I had the ability to draw a large crowd. I received the loudest applause during my loss to Ivan Lendl at the French Open. 90% of the audience was cheering for me, but by the end, they were all cheering against me. It takes skill to have a crowd that loves you and then hates you by the end. This was all from the video. As you all have seen, what John McEnroe has said about the 22-time Grand Slam champion Rafael Nadal and Novak Djokovic. What are your thoughts on this? Share your thoughts in the comment section below and if you liked the video, please give it a big thumbs up. Also, do not forget to subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so you do not miss any updates. See you again with another video soon. Till then, bye-bye.